how are toppers able to study 10 to 12 hours a day before the exam yes you heard it right you need to study for 10 to 12 hours a day if you are thinking of cracking any competitive exam be it neat pg or inict and in this video i'll give you a study schedule which i used to follow during my pg preparation days which helped me secure rank 4 in aims pg and rank 11 in pgi chandigarh entrance exams now my name is dr rishabh jain i'm a radiology faculty at allen next and I've done my MBBS from Ames Delhi and my MD in Radiology from PGH Chandigarh. So first thing first, your exam is in the morning. So you need to be most active during the morning hours. That is from 10 to 1 p.m. You know, whatever that time the exam is. So if the exam is in morning, don't sleep beyond 9 a.m. during your preparation day, especially the last 10 days before the exam. You know, some students might be studying till 4 or 5 in the night and you know waking up at 12 or 1 in the morning the next day but you know if you do that schedule right now you'll feel sleepy during the exam so you need to be most active in the morning hours especially 10 to 1 you know that's when the exam is so don't sleep beyond 9 a.m second it does not matter whether you're a night owl or an early bird i'm not asking you to wake up at 5 a.m in the morning to crack this exam whatever works best for you you know i'm also a night owl i study well in the night I think the distractions in the night are way less than those in the day. So I'm also a night owl, but I try to make it a point that I won't study beyond 2 or 2.30 at night because, you know, the efficiency starts decreasing after that. And then the next day, you know, gets spoiled. I wake up at around 12 or 1 in the day and then the whole day is very less for me. Second, and a very important factor is that you reduce your bed to chair latency. What is bed to chair latency? So you woke up in the morning and you take, you know, 1 to 2 hours to sit and study up acche se taiyar ho rahe ho you know abhi ja rahe hain bahar hum shop mein khana khane hain market mein ja rahe hain khana dhoondne restaurant mein khana kha rahe hain ek se do ghante nahi waste karne so when you wake up your bed to chair latency should be less than 30 minutes theek hai aap bed jao karne theek hai mcqs hi karo previous year questions hi karo you do only pyqs or mcq but you sit and study you know you can have breakfast after 30 minutes you know after one hour of waking up but if you reduce a bed to chair latency time, your time wasted will automatically decrease. Now, what is the study schedule I've made for you guys? So, I've started your studies from 10 a.m. in the morning. And so, the initial time that you should sit should be minimum 3 hours. You know, if you're able to, you know, study for 3 hours before lunch. So, I have allotted a 3 hour study schedule for you from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So, these 3 hours, if you are able to, you know, study. It will give you a real boost. Ki, thank God. I've studied for three hours during the day. Mera abhi bohat sara din hai. I can, you know, cover up a lot of labels during the day. So, pre-lunch, three hour study session I've kept for you from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Now, I've given you a one hour break. Achche se one hour break I've given you for your lunch. So, you can complete your lunch, let's say in 20 minutes, 30 minutes and half an hour. You can relax, talk with your friends, you know watch something do instagram now from 2 to 4 2 hour study session then half an hour break from 4 to 4 30 and then one and half hour study session from 4 30 to 6. okay achhe khase hamare 6.5 hours we have completed till now now i'll give you one and one hour break proper from 6 to 7 you know go have some evening snacks have some tea talk to your friends you know maybe watch a friends episode whatever suits you take a good one hour break then again, two hour study session from seven to nine. Now from nine to 10, you can have your dinner, talk to your parents, you know, talk to your uh, study partner, what uh, he or she is studying, you know, then from 10 to 12 at night, again, two hour study session. And after 12, it's variable, you know, so some uh, students uh, sleep at 12 to one and wake up early at seven or eight, whatever suits you. If you're a night owl, you can put in another one and a half hour of study session from 12.30 to two. And try to sleep at least till 2.30 now. Okay? Don't stretch this beyond till 4, 4.30 because it will hamper your focus. It will hamper your concentration the next day and the exam is in the morning. So till now, we have completed 12 hours of good studying sessions with 1-1 one, one hour good breaks also in between. And the main fund I am telling you is that try to study at least 3 hours before lunch. That is from 10 to 1 p.m. Give a good 3 hour sitting. When you are sitting for 3 hours in the morning in, at 10 a.m., in the first 30 minutes, revise the previous day what you have uh, studied. Then the next 30 minutes, do previous uh, questions 
of the subject that you are studying today and the next two hours will automatically get in the mode of studying so this 10 to 1 pm study session in the morning is very very important which i want you to do now in the breaks you know limit your instagram as far as possible because insta pay you don't track time you know you you can't track time how long it takes to you know scroll those reels preferably listen to music it helps you relax avoid watching a lot of videos i space train padta you cannot relax when you are watching videos and have a study partner you know very important a uh, very important factor during my preparation was that you know i had aditya as my study partner and we used to discuss few questions with each other and keep both of us motivated so study partner will really help you uh, stay focused in your preparation so this was a study schedule that i made for you guys 12 hour study session this gives you but even if you are able to give 8 hours per day that is sufficient that will at least keep you in the track don't make any days where you haven't studied anything you know study each day something even if you're studying less but study each day especially now this is not the time when you can afford not studying any day that's all from my side thank you